Hey everyone, I'm back. That's right. More reviews of manga chapters. And I'm starting off with Mob Cycle 100 chapter 97.3. Let's -a go! <laughs> So Mob Psycho 100 chapter 97.3 just came out and I'm here to review that chapter. Okay, so what happened in this chapter? Well first, before I start with that, I'm going to start with what is happening in this whole arc in general. So right now, we're in the, I would consider, call it the Psycho Helmet cult arc, the Broccoli arc, whatever, but all we know is that it has something to do with the broccoli and with Dimple wanting to become God. So, Dimple has taken control of the city. Like, everybody's brainwashed and everybody wants to follow Psycho Helmet, which Dimple, which is what Dimple is calling himself. And he's even giving himself his own, like, his own disguise, not disguise, his own, like, costume, his own thing. Where it's, you know, it's made out of the broccoli and it looks like Mob and they call him Psycho. Or at least the, it looks like the logo for Psycho Helmet Cult. And so he, he calls himself Lord Psycho Helmet. And Dimple is controlling everybody in the city including Mob's uh, brother and possibly father and mother as well. I'm not, I don't remember but whatever. And also controlling everybody else in the city. And now Taruki seems like he's being controlled and Reagan is also controlled. So that's great. Mob is alone on this. And so we learn in this chapter that Mob ha is facing off against Taruki because he doesn't agree with what Dimple says. He doesn't agree that Dimple should be allowed to uh, not control people's mind but so it influence them to convince them to believe that that Psycho Helmet is God and that everybody should follow him and, and he tries to justify himself by saying oh no it's like they're still their own they're still themselves it's just now they believe in the power of Lord Psycho Helmet and Mob doesn't want to have anything to do with that. He just wants, he doesn't want that. Because he's saying he's controlling them, that that he's being a coward because he's doing it by force. He's not giving them an option. And even if they are, even if they are themselves, they're really not because they're being influenced. And that he doesn't want that in the city. He doesn't want any of his loved ones to go through that. And yeah. So Mob decides, he decides he has to talk to Dimple directly because Dimple is the one who's doing all of this. And sure, Psycho Helmet is the representing Dimple, but Mob wants to directly speak with Dimple himself. And which is interesting. The interesting thing about it is that Dimple or Psycho Helmet doesn't want that. And neither does Taruki because Taruki is being controlled after being captured by Dimple slash Lord Psycho Helmet. Psycho Helmet. And um, so why? Why does Dimple not want to be captured or why does Dimple not want to talk to Mob? Is there something happening? Is Dimple being controlled himself or his de desires taking him over or the trees? Or is the trees like influence on him growing or I mean is it influencing him? We don't know because the tree could have its uh, mind of its own. We don't know. And I think that's a very interesting thing because it's like we don't know if Dimple is doing all this just because he he's who he is. You know he still has the ambitions of becoming God. But... We don't know if these ambitions are really what are making him do this. And that's very interesting to know, to to see that maybe Dimple isn't 100% in control of everything. And instead, it's under the influence of the tree. And also, 
Oh, that fight, that upcoming fight that seems that's going to happen between Taruki and Mob. That's the fight round two between those two because remember they fought once and Taruki lost when he activated or when he caused Mob to go unconscious which triggered his mysterious question mark question mark question mark form which we still don't know what that is. We don't know if that's his instincts kicking in. We don't know if that's like a, a separate entity that has been in mob ever since he was young because we know that he's ha we've seen him use it when he was still like a very young boy so whatever uh and whatever it was the point is that they fought once and that it seems like they're probably gonna fight again but i don't think mob is gonna like that but he has no choice because taruki's the one who's attacking him directly and so I'm excited for that fight if it does happen or if Mob finds a way to get rid of a turkey without hurting him or I mean causing or like causing him to get out of that state of brainwashing because it looks like he's not in because unlike the others who are influenced by Lord Psycho Helmet, Taruki seems like he he's being completely controlled because before before uh he attacked Mob before he was captured by Dimple, he he was trying to kill Dimple once and for all. And it seems like now that's not the case. Which makes me believe that he's actually being completely controlled. Which is something Mob doesn't want. And Mob is scared is going to happen if Dimple continues or is allowed to continually enforce or not enforce, influence others to to uh, believe in Lord Psycho Helmet or Psycho Helmet, whatever, the Divine Tree. And that's very interesting. I'm just excited to see if we're going to see that that mysterious form Mob has. And if we do, are we finally going to get an explanation? What's going to happen if he does activate it? Is he going to kill someone? Is he going to kill Dimple? Is he going to kill Taruki? Probably not. But is he going to activate that form again? Because we're going through the, the fight with the person that he activated the well not the first time but the person who he used it against so are we gonna see it again maybe i hope so that'd be interesting and if we don't i hope eventually we do see that again and get an explanation well this video has been going on for like around seven minutes and i think that's enough for this review of this chapter because there wasn't really that much more but I found this chapter to be very interesting because this could open up a whole new door of uh, possibilities. What could happen? Is Mob going to kill someone? Is Mob going to do something against Taruki? What's going to happen if he does win against Taruki? And um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching this video and I hope you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all in the next video well that was all peace yeah if everyone is not special maybe you can be what you want to be